All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the tessellation puzzle piece for your tessellation drawing, okay? So you definitely need a pair of scissors, a pencil, a ruler, some tape, just some regular scotch tape is fine, maybe some masking tape. I'm using just like a regular sticky note for my piece of paper that I'm going to create my puzzle piece with, and then I have my piece of paper that I'm going to be drawing my tessellation onto, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you're going to take your like little notepad, little piece of paper that you're going to use to make your puzzle piece. And what we need to do is we need to create the puzzle piece to be a two inch by two inch square. So we're going to use our ruler. Okay. You're going to align your ruler to the zero with your paper and you're going to mark the two inches. And you're going to do the same thing along the bottom. Mark your two inches. Okay. And then using your ruler, connect those two dots to create a line. Okay. And then we're going to cut off this two inch line. All right, so we're going to cut along this line to make that cut so that we have a two inch piece of paper. Okay. And now from this piece of paper, we're going to turn it horizontally and we're going to measure again two inches by two inches. So Line up the edge on the zero of your ruler, mark the two inches on the top and then again the bottom. Draw our line to connect it. And then we're gonna cut off that piece, okay? And this is going to give us our two inch by two inch square, okay? This, is, this little square is what we're gonna use to create our puzzle piece, right? So now that we have our two inch square, it doesn't matter which, which direction it's pointing, which direction it is. You have a top, you have a bottom, you have a right, and you have a left, okay? What we're gonna do is we're going to draw a line from that top left corner to the bottom left corner. But we need to, our line to kind of come into the square and then back down to the corner. So you can draw your line however you want. Just keep in mind, however you draw your line is how you're going to have to cut it off, okay? So if your line is too complicated, it's going to be hard for you to cut it, especially if you have, like, bigger scissors, okay? So now that we have our line, we're going to go ahead and cut our line off. Do it as carefully as you can. Follow that line as best as you can. Try not to make any like extra cuts, like if you cut too far, if you do, you're going to have to tape it back together. Okay, so like right here, I kind of cut it a little bit too far. It's not too much, but it's okay. Alright, so now that we've cut off our piece, I'm not going to trim anything. I'm just going to leave it the way that I cut it is the way that I'm going to use it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is you're going to take this piece from the left side, and we're just going to slide it over. Remember, it's a translation. So it just slides over, okay? So we take this piece, I'm gonna lift it up, slide it over above the rest of my square so that the left edge of my square lines up with my right edge of my square, okay? So again, we're gonna lift up our piece that we cut away, we're gonna slide it over above it and the left edge of my square lines up with the right edge of my square. And then we're gonna tape it. Okay, so I'm going to use some small pieces of tape, so that way my pieces of tape don't take up too much space on my square, and I can leave them here on the inside of my square. Okay, if you have any pieces of your tape that kind of like overlap and go on the outside of your shape, you can just trim those off. But you want to make sure that your edges line up perfectly. We don't want them to be overlapping or anything like that. They have to be directly next to each other. And so the idea is, okay, that we can take this shape here, and when we slide it over, the next shape that we have is going to fit directly in this one because of this empty space on the left side now. Okay? So now what you'll do is you'll take your paper that you're going to be drawing your tessellation on. Okay? And all you have to do is line up your little paper to the edge 
and you're going to trace. Be careful tracing. Okay. You're just going to trace your shape exactly the way it is. Okay. Now that I've traced it once, I can take the piece, I can slide it over, and it fits directly next to that piece. Okay. So you're going to trace your piece, your little tessellation piece, throughout the whole entire paper. All right.